Adversity 2, this is part 2 on how to make a erasable marker um, board case out of uh, tarp. I pretty much have it assembled now, but um, I'll go backwards and show you how I did it. And um, I got my cardboard in here to keep um, getting damaged. They just slide inside the little sheet here. One on each side. And um, I'm going to need to add my Velcro for my flap here. I'm going to have my straps to carry it. I have two large straps and one center strap for an individual to carry. So um, this is it, the recipe two, uh, how to make the erasable marker board or a marker board uh, carrying case out of right here. This one is six inches long though. Mm -hmm. I'll go over. I think we can go six inches and fold also. Let's see, six. We'll go six inches over, then we'll have a line to work with. I think six inches would be okay. Six inches wide. We stick with that. Let's follow this line all the way down. Working on our shoulder straps now. Okay, we'll get the bottom and I'll be good to go. Let's go get the bottom here. Slide it in. Not drop put anything for the harm I need. Okay, I ran into a problem here. I'm not going to be able to take this large flat, put it center, and fold it over, and, and connect it that way. So this is like half and half. What I'm going to have to do is take this flat, because this is not going to go on my sewing machine. It's uh, too much. I'm going to have to take and back it up to here and attach it right at, at the tip here like this instead of what I had planned and this should work just fine but that's not what I wanted I wanted to have more strength but um, this is not designed to hold pressure but just to keep it from getting wet so this will be fine so to lay this sideways and put this on the machine it will be much easier than what I had planned um, first at first so we're going to go ahead and do that just take it and attach it like that
Diversity 2, my project has been um, completed here. I got my erasable marker board um, carrying case with, um, with the record board fishing inside of the couch. I don't know if you can see them in there, but I um, got my flat frame, my large flat. But I had my, all of my straps made here. This strap here, let me, what I did was take all of this is out of a um, tarp, a great tarp. Took and um, folded this twice and sewed it together so it would be strong and sewed a piece of a handle across these two and just uh, made two circles and put a handle in the middle. The um, whole board, if one person is going to carry this, this straps will slide straight across here, real easy, and you can manage this um, board on your own with these straps here. And the larger straps, I just use one. They're really uh, tall. Two people can if two people are gonna carry this board, they will just slide over the board and uh, you can carry it on your shoulder and the board will be mounted in the middle, a person in the front, in the rear you can easily um, maneuver and handle this board. So I have my two straps here. I reinforce them. So this is my um, reversible marker board, um, carrying case, um, waterproof. Just gotta make sure that all my holes closed there. But there you go. A version two: How to make a reversible marker board or a marker board um, carrying case out of um, tar. There you go. A version two: Nice and strong. Versity 2, how to make a um, reasonable marker board um, carry in case out of PVC. I'm sorry, uh, out of sharp material. You're good to go. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.